Hey, what's going on, buddy? We are the Fife Nation, and my name is John, and today I'm going to be discussing with you guys on why people actually spec into life compared to damage in Path of Exile. Originally, today's video was going to be me discussing about life and energy shield and mana and the fundamentals behind it and how it incorporates itself into the passive tree, but that's for another day. But I do want to talk about on why people actually spec into life and not damage because people have been raging on the forums. Ever since closed beta, people have been uh, discussing this, why you are almost required to spec into life compared to specking into damage, why you cannot be a glass cannon like in other games like Torchlight 2. And it becomes, it, it, it's because of accessibility, really. Like, I mean, you, you look at your weapons, you look at your weapon, and your offhand, your glove, and your jewelry, and those are the only pieces of gear that can provide damage to you. And they're not even... Your weapon is your primary source of your damage. Gloves, you can get elemental rolls, you can get a physical roll, attack speed. Same with, uh, same goals with jewelry, but, but, every single piece of gear on here can have life on it. And it, and it can have a lot of life on it, too. Plus, this life is base life, which means that it can be, it's, it will be multiplied by every life node you have on the tree. Now, that also goes, of course, with, uh, elemental damage and um, just physical damage in general on the tree. But let's actually pu point up the tree here. Now let's look at my hardcore ranger build currently. So as you can see, let us count the number of damage nodes I have. One, two, three, four. I currently have four damage nodes. I don't see any else. Well, okay, that's a lie. Five, okay, 15% attack speed. So I have currently just have five damage nodes so far, of course, I'm going to expand more, and as I get to um, higher levels, I'm going to be grabbing a few more damage nodes, because it does scale a little bit. But, if we talk about the amount of damage you can get on a bow, compared to the amount of life that you can get on all of your items that can roll life, why wouldn't you get life? It scales so much more better than damage does. Plus, you don't even need, you do not need 20k DPS. You do not need that. In fact, you will kill yourself with that much DPS. You will one-shot yourself from a reflect mob. Um, people do this all the time, and they still don't even have that, that high damage. Um, it's just uh, one really unlucky crit. And the only way to really counteract that is either a high, really high resistances, or a very, very high life pool. Okay, that was more of a rant, really, so far. I, um, I didn't really mean for it to... Okay, I have six. Okay, that's a lie. I have six damage nodes attack speed right up there okay so let's count the number of ways that you can actually get life so you can get life from every single piece of gear can roll life on it you can roll life on um or you can get life also from the strength nodes of course you can also get melee physical damage from that but it costs a lot more um for every 10 life that you have or, or from every 10 strength that you get every 10 strength node that you pick up you can get an extra five Point plus five life. Now that is multiplied by every single life node passive that you have. Roughly every hardcore character should have around 250% end game, like really really late end game life, and that gets really really high. So every ten, every uh, five strength times 250, well it actually be times 350. So it would be well 3.5. So you would get 15 life, 15 base life ish, more than that actually, because I didn't even factor in the decimal. 15 base life for every strength node that you get. Okay. Now you can also get life from all of your gear. All of your gear can roll life. I said earlier that you can get almost 100 life roll on helm. Actually, it's 99. But for math's sake, let's do 100. All right. So 100 times 3.5. That is. 350 life from one helmet piece. That is a lot more than uh, damage you can get. That is a lot more than you can get from damage from a piece of gear. You can also, you can also get life from a bandit quest reward. You get life from oak, which almost every single person should do because it is technically the best. And I feel like it will be reworked in the future. But you can get base 40 life from oak. And if you're a life-based character, um, of course, if you plan on going CI, you would not get that. Um, if you were a life-based character, you would, of course, get that. That 40 life gets multiplied by your 250 life that you get at endgame. 250% life that you get at endgame. So that's huge. Also, 
get life every single time you level up. Yes, yes, you do get life every time you level up. You get a base 6 life every time you level up. I know it doesn't sound like much, but imagine end game. You get, I actually forget how much life you get when you start off the game. I believe it could be around 100-ish, but I know that end game, level 100, if anybody actually manages to get there within a year, I'd be surprised. But you get base 600 life just from that. You do not get any damage whatsoever from leveling up. So that is another huge incentive why you should spec into life and not damage, just because of the scaling. You can, although, get damage from other places. This is also a reason why people do not spec into it. Of course, you get damage from your bow, you get damage from your offhand, uh, your main hand and offhand, you get damage from your gloves, you can get damage on your jewelry, you can also run auras that'll give you um, uh, damage. You can run anger, you can run um, grace, no, 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 wrath, sorry. Um, anger will give you a um, fire, fire damage, added fire damage. Wrath will give you added lightning damage, and if you run hatred, your uh, physical damage will be converted into cold damage, which is really, it's actually like a huge DPS increase if you don't get blood magic. Highly recommend using that if you have a high physical. Actually, I would just recommend using it in general. It's a really good passive for um, players who do not go uh, blood magic. But yeah, there are way more sources to get life, and it will scale a lot better on the passive tree compared to if you were to get it on, let's say, a, let's say, if you were to just get damage on, like, a bow, and you would get the what, like, the plus eight physical damage, or the what, yeah, plus eight physical damage, yeah, increased projectile damage, okay. Skills a lot better. And finally, wrapping it up, you do not need so much damage. You do not need that 20k DPS like I said earlier. You just need enough to kill the mobs. Because otherwise you will one-shot yourself to um, reflect mobs. Alright guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm, I apologize if this sounded like a rant, rant um, because it, it kind of felt like it was a rant. But I still think it was kind of educational. It helped me get my point across. And subscribe for more Path of Exile videos. Um, I try to put out a new Path of Exile video every single day. Of course, I probably won't do that considering I'm really trying hard to think of what I should make a video about. So if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments down below or send me a message. I also uh, will do Let's Plays in the future. I did Let's Plays in the past and I plan on doing Let's Plays in the future just because they're a lot of fun. But currently playing Path of Exile. been playing Path of Exile for a few six months now. Um, it's pretty much not going to change. Alright guys, I'll see you all next time. Peace out.